Going ah. Live used to be called. It used Going Live used to be a TV program. Didn't it, it did. Morning Facebook. Morning Facebook. Are we ready then, Gareth? Do we get started? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've been ready for ages. It's just you lot talking about bread rolls and stuff and everything, you know. Really, it's all our fault. I've just been waiting and paying lots of interest. <laughs> That'll be it then. Morning, Kevin. Morning, Kevin. Morning, Morning Kevin. We're live on Facebook. Hi. Say hello to are... Facebook. Hello. Hi, Facebook. Boys, this have been a little late. I had troubles getting through the link to get in. Don't Is he alive? <laughs> Oh, Don't fret, right? We're just we're we're about to crack on, so uh, we're just we're just at the start. But so, welcome to One Hour Networking, hosted by Gareth James of Clockwork Eye. Hi, everybody. I'm Gareth from Clockwork Eye. We specialise in video marketing, video production, and video training. And myself, Gareth Bottom with Motor and Fleet Services, and I help people with long-term and short-term vehicle leasing. Uh, we're going to do some sixty-second round. We've got a ten-minute conversation point. That I think Gareth's organised, and then we're going to jump in some breakout rooms to find out loads more about what each of us do. So let's start this morning with Mr. Long. Excuse me, well, just, one, just one thing. Has there everybody seen my new card? Okay, you know, you all know my one minute. You oh, all yeah, know my okay. tender, yeah? You all, have you all seen the new one? When you uh, go on, it's uh, too long. <laughs> okay? Right? I, I, spelled it, I spelled it wrong, but okay? If you go for too long. You could have STFW, couldn't you? Oh, sorry, STFU. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was trying to think, what's the W? <laughs> yeah, it's early. Well, any of it is. <laughs> yeah, I can't even. I can't even make something up. It's too early. Right, go on then. Morning, everybody. Steve Long from Yorkshire Rose. We're an independent whole market financial services company regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. We specialise in making sure your protection needs are taken care of, whether that's just mortgage protection or pretty loans cover, income protection family income benefit. We also look at pensions and investments, making sure you've got enough money in retirement so that your money doesn't run out before you do. We also look at inheritance tax planning, uh, making sure that part of your estate or mum and dad's, grandma and granddad's doesn't go to the inland revenue. And we also make sure that people have got wills and powers of attorney, as Tony will tell you. And we make sure that all our life policies are written in trust so that they pay out straight away and you don't have to wait for your estate to be proven, which can take a very, very long time. And because we're independent and whole of market, I can get you the best product to suit your individual circumstances. That's Steve Long from Yorkshire Rose. Thanks, Steve. We'll have uh, Jerry next, followed by Jen. Hi, everybody. I'm Jerry Hanna from Stability 4C, which is a, a legal services company based on a charity. And the, the, the film purpose of the both the charity and the organisation is to um, to ensure that children get a fair and equal hearing in the court alongside their parents and solicitors and everybody else that appears in the family court to make sure that their voice is actually heard. I know it's a bit of a cliche saying that, but this is actually um, based on fact and a lot of extensive research. We're having tremendous success. Now, you're going to laugh at this because you can tell because I've had death threats. <laughs> so, so that, to me, means that I'm actually getting under the noses or under the skin of the people who are at fault for this. So we're making fantastic progress. And the, um, the results are, are very worthwhile, very humanitarian. And the... The consequences of that, I can only say that it, it just thrills me when people ring me up and say, yes, I'm getting my children back or I'm still going to keep in touch with my children. I'm going to be seeing my daughter, whatever. That just really <laughs> makes, my day. makes the whole thing worthwhile. But I think, I think Gareth thinks you've run over, Terry, uh, Jerry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where did it say that? Where did it say that? <laughs> 60 seconds, not... Five oh, it's all right, mate. I'm done. I'm done. Five minutes, six seconds. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. We'll have uh, Jen next, followed by Tony Carter. Hi, morning, everyone. My name is Jen Blaco, and I'm director of Asphodel, which is a not for profit um, delivering training and consultancy about autism and neurodiversity. Uh, Aspidem works with both medium to large businesses and individuals and specialises in autism and neurodiversity training and consultancy. And we work with large businesses. Um, right organizations helping them to effectively manage autism in the workplace right down to individuals and their 
families helping them to thrive. All profit and training goes towards um, our work helping disadvantaged autistic adults find meaningful employment and live happier, more fulfilled lives. Uh, that's Jen from Aspiden. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jen. And Mr. Carter, followed by Mr. Redondo. Good morning. Jerry, if you uh, haven't got a will and you're up north, I can refer you to somebody. If you're down here, I suggest you talk to me if you're getting death threats. <laughs> Might be advisable <laughs> to get something in place. Um, over the last six months, um, COVID, uh, 50 people have died from COVID who have been double vaccinated and didn't have any underlying interest. Um, uh, underlying health issues the more people have died falling down the stairs or have escalators so if you know anybody who's going to use an escalator or stairs then maybe <laughs> they should see me before they do <laughs> uh, putting a will in place is an important thing powers of attorney for business owners are more in, well, well equally important so that's Tony from the Legacy Studio your friends and Jerry should see me before they go <laughs> <laughs> thanks Tony so the other Tony followed by Chris <laughs> Morning everyone, Tony Redondo, Founding Director of Cosmos Currency Exchange. Cosmos offers a bespoke proactive bank account to bank account currency exchange service for both private and corporate clients. Uh, we are licensed to deal in over 35 currencies and can send funds to and receive funds from over 50 countries around the globe. We can provide preferential exchange rates for our clients in comparison to corporate banks and brokers saving clients time and money on their foreign exchange transaction. We have decades of experience in the industry, the late access to the latest technology, and we now have local collection accounts in London, Amsterdam, New York, and Calgary in Canada. And we're members of all the major payment networks, including the Faster Payment Network in the UK, the ACH equivalent in the US, the SEPA payment system in the EU, and the global SWIFT payment system. We also provide weekly market insights that can provide much needed guidance so clients can make as informed a decision as possible over the timing of their currency exchange transfers. That's Tony from Cosmos Currency Exchange. Thanks, Tony. And with Chris followed by Lindsay. Uh, good morning. So uh, I've got a little gift here for somebody on the screen, which is, uh, I'll, I'll put his name up. There we go. Can you, can you see? Oh. It's a little workbook for Kevin Besford. And that's because Kevin put his hand up last week and asked to join uh, my sales bootcamp. He's going to one of my beta testers. Uh, my objective is to enable Kevin to do more of this, to get people on holiday and back in places that are like this on the Italian Riviera coast. Because hopefully we're going to learn some tactics uh, to get his message sniper aligned to his target audience and really pushing through some, um, some techniques to help him with email, telephone, pitching, and also making that all lock in like a habit. So if you want to be like Kevin, you missed this sales bootcamp, just have a one-to-one -one with me and we can talk about how we can enable your mindset, your mouth, your body to be habit orientated, to be a sniper on sales. That's Chris at Adamo. Find, convert, and keep clients like a habit. Brilliant. Thanks, Chris. And with Lindsay followed by Fraser. Good morning, everyone. Lindsay from UW. Uh, so we've all seen in the news this week that the energy crisis is upon us. I, I just want to reassure people that UW are well, very well positioned to weather out this storm that, that we're, we're facing at the moment. Um, and there's never been a better time to look at your, your energy with uh, UW, purely because they guarantee, they guarantee that everybody saves. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, it's all right, I'm on a fixed deal at the moment, I'm getting a good deal. When that fixed deal comes to an end, you're likely to see a massive increase in your prices. So are you going to wait until then, and then we'll guarantee to save you money on the increased prices? Or are you going to go for it now, have a look at it now, and save money on what you're on just now? We guarantee that we'll save you at least £50 on what you're paying at the moment. So... Up to you guys. Just before I go, can I have a show of hands of who is already a UW customer? Because I know quite a lot of you are. Right, you need to be speaking to your friends and family, okay, and getting them to speak to you, to speak to myself or someone else within UW, because <clears throat> as I say, there's never been a better time to switch. Thank you. There you go. Thanks, Lindsay. Uh, Fraser followed by Kevin. Good morning, everyone. Fraser Whitton from Smart PA. We provide you with uh, virtual administration and business support services. Our main 
purpose is to assist you by um, allowing you to delegate all your tasks that you don't have time to do yourselves to us and we'll take care of them. This allows you to focus on your core business activities while we take care of all these tasks that are not of primary concern to you. This is more effective to you than hiring in-house assistants as you have no additional costs of office space equipment, training, tax, holiday pay, sick pay, maternity pay, etc., etc., as we take care of all these things by ourselves and at our end. So if you're self-employed, an entrepreneur, a business, small business operator, or you know people who are, who want to save all these additional costs, get in touch with me quickly without delay so that you can hire a smart PA. Thanks, Fraser. Thanks, Fraser. And finally, Kevin. Hi, folks. Can I start with a quick show of hands, please? Who loves to travel under normal circumstances? That's what I like, like to see. So anyway, so I'm Kevin Bestwood from Trivorium. I uh, sell membership to the world's leading travel club to people that love to travel. Our best level of membership starts at just $250 in the first month, that's US, <clears throat> and then $125 a month thereafter. So what are you going to get for your membership? Each year you get one free trip to one of 36 countries. You get up to three further trips for as little as $1 per night at 2,500 resorts. And hotel accommodation up to 70% less than the likes of Expedia and Booking.com at over a million hotels. So let's give you a few examples. I've got a colleague in California that's got a free trip to Lake Tahoe coming up. And tomorrow he's off to Florida for the week for just $72. I have a colleague in Devon that went to uh, the Canary Islands last February 2020. Their accommodation cost them less than their bacon sandwich at the airport. And a hotel example. In uh, Atlanta, Georgia, booking.com, $2,161, our price, $733. So if you want to find out more, you know where I am. Just have a one-to-one -one and I'm across the T's and dot the I's for you. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Greg. We're going for a great 60-second round. Now over to Mr. James. I presume he's got his 60. He's got a 10-minute uh, discussion point. Well, we got <coughs> we got um, a few things to choose from. I mean, there's the whole... Um, uh, a gas supply crisis that is going on at the moment. There's also Joe Biden playing down the chances of a US-UK trade deal. Trade deal. Um, or if somebody's got something different they'd like to talk about, then um, because like the CO2 plants have restarted because the government have met the costs of starting them up again. So if anybody's got anything else or something else they want to talk about, then shout out now, really. Other than that, Will that alleviate the gas problem if the CO2 plants are owned again? Well, it, will it? Is, did you say? Or yeah, will it? it well, I don't, just, I don't know. Just, follow, you... just following on from what Lindsay said, um, I fixed my gas and electric prices in August because I knew my deal was coming to an end and they were already talking about these prices going up. So I got in touch with my supplier and I fixed the price for five pound a month for two years more than I was currently paying so it, it makes absolute sense to get in touch with your supplier because they take advantage of loyalty and if you tell them you're going to move away surprise surprise they might give you mm. a better price and that applies for any type of insurance car insurance home insurance yeah. anything they just take advantage of your oh, loyalty God, yeah. Yeah. yeah I was talking to a uh, commercial energy person last Friday and he said the commercial rate and I don't know what it's measured because it obviously isn't in kilowatts the cost for the last 10 years the highest it's been is 45 pounds last Monday it went up to 350 and Tuesday it went above 400 oh. yeah. wow it's only just begun yeah but we could all um uh, yesterday was world gratitude day so okay. maybe we could have a little positive 10 minutes to talk about what we're grateful for. Yeah, nice. Go on, then. Yeah. Go on, then you one. start, Chris. Oh, it's like Thanksgiving in America. I'll tell you what <laughs> Lindsay's grateful for. Lindsay's grateful for the prices increases because when yeah. they hit people, she, her commission goes up. Yeah. There you go. That's the thing, isn't it? There's always an upside from every downside, I think. Exactly. With an yeah. out. Uh, infinite mindset on things. I Today, I'm going to be grateful for the fact that I was able to get up this morning. 
I could go for a lovely run in a safe environment. I could put the lights on, I could turn the tap on, I like clean water, and then I could come to a lovely networking meeting with some cheeky little individuals that keep, why you come <laughs> in. keep, keep, keep me on my guard. So, uh, Did you yeah, go there before? Just, I'll be before, grateful. Uh, before, and and if, we, before, if we could get Gareth James's video connection to drop, that would be even better. Oh. <laughs> He's the host. You could be gone. I'll, I'll go, I'll go <laughs> next. I'm, I'm grateful for the fact I've survived the last four days with my missus being in Spain on my own, managed to cook, <laughs> clean and everything. I've done ever so well. First time ever. Be careful. I hope she's not watching. <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll not be watching. No, she's Let not a member of the group. I, I, which she has to be a member of the group. I declined her. <laughs> Kebab every night? Sorry? Kebab every night? No, no, no. I've done very well. I, uh, I what then? Uh, fish pie on Monday. So cooked myself fish pie on From Monday. From the freezer? No. <laughs> and then did, 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 did steak and chips last night. Oh, nice. Spoiled himself. Oh, wow. Spoiled himself. Take away, take away tonight. I'm going to relent re take away tonight. But I've survived. I have survived. <laughs> God. <laughs> Who's next? Who wants to go next? I'll go next. So a couple of years ago, um, I did a, a kind of mindset thing, um, a course, Chris, where and one of the things we had to do was write down all of our all of our goals, and uh, and one of the thing, well, you had to start start with a monetary goal, and then, you know, what but what then what would that money allow you to do? Okay, so one of my goals was um, to be able to support my parents and enjoy their retirement with them. So I'm grateful for the fact now that they've moved down to Newcastle because now they're both retired and now I can get to spend. I'm grateful for the way that I have my lifestyle where I teach part time when I want to. And the days that I don't teach and the days that, I, you know, I'm fitting in utility warehouse stuff, but I can go and spend time with my parents now. And they're sort of, you know, they're in their, their mid 60s. So hopefully for many years to come. I'll get to spend uh, lots of time with them. So Brilliant. For that. Brilliant. Yeah. Fabulous. Go next. Go on, Kevin. Yeah. Go on. Uh, I always used to say with this question that it was the grandchildren was the what I'm most grateful for. But after an accident, an accident two months ago, which now I and uh, I trump that with I'm pleased to be alive in that I took a tumble and uh, had an argument with a road sign as I went down. Um, I ended up with 14 stitches in my ear to put it back together again. It could, but it could have been a lot worse, just a few inches either way. I could have been good like Vienna. So I'm I'm just happy to be here every day. How's the signpost? Uh, I know we're going back on Sunday. <laughs> so I'm going to have a look on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great, grateful for this won't sound good for UW, but it was good. I was quite grateful for a couple of BT engineers who were working across the road that were able to look after me and bandage me up until the ambulance came along. Wow, that is lucky. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anybody going to cheer this up a bit? Yeah, well, I will. Thank <laughs> oh God. Now, that will as, be a first. I'm as sorry, usual, it is. That will it be is a first. Like, if you want to clear something up, I am hugely grateful that after two years of struggling, we're finally going to get my mother in law into a a residential home and stop everybody running around after it. It sounds pretty bizarre, but there are times when people, she's finally accepted that she needs to be in there, which is a win-win because she can hardly hobble around the house or anything and falls over all the time. So it will be a huge relief. Uh, and, and her children, my wife and her brothers, can stop being carers and start being family again. Yeah, I got one similar because my mother's finally agreed that they need to go into home, which is about time because my father's got NS, he's in a wheelchair and he's, even, he's getting worse and worse. But I, what I'm truly grateful for is the fact that the apples are starting to fall so I can make cider. <laughs> <laughs> I've already done my first press yesterday. Wow. <laughs> Welsh apples. What's well, another word for cider pint. beginning with S? I got, a, I got about seven <laughs> pints out of my parents' apple tree, so went down this weekend. So that'll be yummy. So that's what I'm grateful for. The bounty that nature offers us, because I'm also in the middle of just doing all my hawthorn berries as well for a, for a wine. And I'm going to be doing rose hip and my elderflower, elderberries on and everything. So I'm just grateful for nature's bounty. It all revolves around alcohol. What about, you? <laughs> what about you, Jen? What are you grateful for? Do you know what? I'm really struggling. I'm grateful for so many things. Um, so 
I'm just going to keep it simple, probably. Um, just for uh, the just people in my life that have been um, that have shown love. I think that's 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 it for me. Like, like I said, I could go on and on and be really sort of. But yeah, I'm grateful for love. Hey, Mara. fantastic! <laughs> As the people said, love is all you need. The love is all you need. Spread love, not fear. Yeah. Oh, that's to the bloody media. I know, I know. Jerry, come on then. Um, what are you grateful for? At the moment, certainly I'm grateful for having a fantastic sister. There was um, where we're difficult and sort of tragic circumstances that, that meant that we couldn't get close. We had to stop being close. They didn't want my sister talking like me. <laughs> so um, anyway, it's a, lot, a long story, but she was prevented from having a normal brother-sister relationship with me. And now circumstances have changed and we're having days out together. And I think of all the times that we missed, you know, just getting along together and going to a cafe, getting fish and chips and stuff. This is something that I'm really, really grateful for, the relationship that I have now with my younger sister. Good stuff. That's Fraser, it. you can't say weather. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're waiting for the rain to arrive. Don't worry, it's overcast and miserable, and it's 25 hey! degrees. Only Bloody 25 awful. degrees, yeah. Bloody awful. 25 degrees. You wouldn't want to be here. No, um, <laughs> I haven't seen my mother since Christmas two years ago, 2019. She was um, 90 in July. We didn't couldn't have a party with a Zoom do for her, four of us, my sister and brother, and herself. and myself and then at the weekend I called her up and said look I've booked a flight we'll be over next month for a week just to spend some time which she was ecstatic about she was over the moon we had a chat I was on the home mobile and uh, by the time I put the phone down out the sitting room and walked through to the kitchen there was a whatsapp message from my sister in Glasgow saying, I hear you're coming over next <laughs> month to stay with mum. And in that split second, she'd been on the phone to my sister wow. <laughs> to say, Fraser's coming excited. over next month. <laughs> she is excited then. Favourite son's she's really excited cry. about that. So she'll be out getting the square sausages and the eggs. <laughs> and oh, like oh this all week. <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> the boy. <laughs> And the rolls. Can I just tell you a story about just, I know you've got a couple of people, but when I was in Portugal, there was a family as I was watching, they were going down the stairs and they're all cuddled around the phone. And the lad was talking to um, somebody else and, and he was sort of saying, yeah, uh, yeah, mum, we're looking forward to seeing you. Can't wait to get there. Uh, and he said, tell me, where are you? And she said, I'm near a swimming pool. And he went, oh, is it the kind where there's that kind of pink inflatable floating in the pool? And she went, uh, uh. yeah. Uh, and is there sort of, um, is there some music playing? And she's like, yeah. Anyway, they all crept down the stairs. Oh, and then literally, well, I watched this all happen. And he was still talking to her. Then she turned around and saw her son and her grandchildren that she's clearly not seen for 18 months. And they all burst into tears. And it was the most magical thing I've ever That's watched brilliant. unfold. That's brilliant. It was, yeah. it was brilliant. brilliant. So brilliant. who was that? Tony Redondo and Steve Long, I think. Yeah, that's right. So go on then, yeah, Tony. Um, I'm, uh, I'm very grateful and very proud of my uh, teenage daughter who had her best week for 20 months last week. Um, for those who don't know, she's autistic. Um, so she's had a real hard time coming into her teenage years. Um, these secondary schools, effing useless. Um, and uh, we've had uh, well, quite a few medical and, and school issues. But uh, we've got her finally after 18 months we got her into a specialist school, uh, which allow her to do online lessons. We were warned beforehand, uh, you know, take it very easy, no stress. If it lasts 10 minutes, last 10 minutes. If she wants to switch off the video feed, that's fine too. It, it just, just get a start. Well, she had a first lesson last Wednesday and it lasted an hour and a half and the teacher could hardly get a word in edgewise. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and she really enjoyed herself. And then on Friday, my wife took her to a local donkey sanctuary where she actually managed to speak to fellow visitors okay. and go in the gift shop by herself. And this is a, 
a young lady that uh, has spent the majority of the last 20 months, you know, in her bedroom uh, with uh, severe social anxiety, uh, amongst other things. So, yeah, very, very proud and very grateful so, that, uh, you know, progress has been made and she, she's in a happier place. Well done, Steve. Yeah. Fantastic. Steve Long, finish this off and then we're going to breakout room. OK, um, two things. One, I'm going to Mallorca on the 12th of October. And the other thing is, you may have known my um, son-in-law was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer a few months ago, but the NHS, like, uh, who was it said they were effing useless? Um, with about two weeks ago, he went privately through my daughter's work policy, and they've diagnosed him with something called PNH, which is a blood condition, and that was done within virtually a week of tests and the NHS was still going round and round in circles, telling him, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. He was on warfarin. They kept increasing his warfarin strength of his tablets. Surprise, surprise, he's come off warfarin, and they're looking yeah. at treating him in other ways. He's going to be on medication for a long time, but at least we now know what's wrong with him, because mm. before that, we had no idea. So it's, not, when, it's not cancer, Steve? Uh, no. The thing is, right. when, you, when you hear, you know, when you hear the word cancer, like yeah. I had with my prostate, you just fear the worst, don't you? You just yeah, you think do. that's it, end of. But he's, he's obviously a lot better now, but he's still got a long way to go. But we now know what's uh, what's actually wrong with him. So that's the good news. Good Great. news all around, everybody. Well Enjoyed done. Enjoyed that. Enjoyed that. Good that was good, that, was good, that, was good that 10 minutes. Enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah, Saved by Chris. Minute. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. We're not doing it too often, though, because, you know, we needed a bit of <laughs> in the background. Um, so, right, OK, we're going to go into breakout rooms now. I'm going to let the computer decide. So I'm going to create two rooms, and I'm going to do it automatically. I will stay out, and um, Mr. Bottomley, you'll go in. OK. Two, five, yeah. Um, say goodbye to Facebook. Bye. Bye, Facebook. Bye. Bye. Bye.